hey guys and welcome back to another video so today's video i wanted to do a tag like a book tag because i haven't done a book themed tag before on my channel so i was looking on youtube to see how many horror book tags there were and honestly there are like zero except for this one that i'm doing today but really like horror book community on youtube should like get together and like make a bunch more because there's like none so this one is called the horror book tag and it is by hey little thrifter she was the original creator um i watched her video she's really cool she likes a lot of like kind of like really different books from me which i thought was pretty interesting um i'm gonna have to check out a few and her instagram is really cool i have her linked down in the down bar so you can check out her video or check out her instagram if you want to so let's get on with the questions shall we so question number one is how and when did you get into horror <laughs> i've been into horror since i was a kid um me and my mom used to watch horror movies together all the time my shirt has michael myers on it because michael myers is my favorite slasher he is the bomb um halloween's my favorite um probably my favorite horror movie ever but um yeah i've been watching horror since i was jeez like four three like that sounds like really bad but like it's true i've been watching horror for so long and now i'm like hardened and nothing scares me in the horror world which sucks because like i like that anxious feeling so it's really hard for me to find yeah i've been in the horror realm for a really long time i've yeah i just i was like born into it i guess so yeah uh pretty much my whole life what was the first horror book that you read so probably when i was a kid i was obsessed with these books these are sto scary stories to tell in the dark these books gave me nightmares <laughs> but i loved them i'm pretty sure i picked them up at my book fair which was kind of weird because i feel like school children shouldn't be allowed to have these but they were also amazing and i feel like everyone knew about these but they're so cool and i think the scariest part about these for me is the pictures like the drawings are so scary like the artwork is so so scary that's what makes it scary is because it's just so i don't know if you have read these please let me know in the comments down below because these were like everything to me as a kid like everything if we're talking more like horror horror like non-child child horror um i actually didn't start reading horror until like a few years ago just because i kind of I don't know for some reason i kind of just didn't think i could read horror i thought it was only like horror movies i didn't really know that horror books existed except for like stephen king so um i read stephen king but uh the two books i read from him first which are actually my favorite books from stephen king ever these are like the only two that like i highly 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 recommend by him and it is the long walk and needful things these are two of my all-time favorite Stephen King books. I think they're his best work ever. Um, they're just my favorite. So uh, those were probably the first actual horror books I read. Question three is what horror-related goodness can we expect from your channel? Uh, lots of book reviews. I love doing horror book reviews. Obviously, I have one every Friday. Uh, I also want to do more Reddit no sleep videos. Um, I did a video a little bit ago where I read stories off of Reddit No Sleep and just like read them out loud and that was really really fun. I love scary stuff. Um, I don't know. I'd love to do more scary stuff if you're into it. I would love to do like my favorite horror movies, analyzing horror movies. That would be fun. I'm a very very picky picky horror movie person. Like very picky. I hate like 85% of them most of the time but that would be fun so yeah it's all up to you guys whatever you guys want to see from me I would love to do because not only am I a beauty channel I also love horror and books and that kind of stuff so it's up to you guys whatever you guys would be down for question four is do you have any favorite subgenres or themes in 
horror. Yeah, pretty much I like to stick within the paranormal slasher and psychological realm. I'm not really a big fan of monsters. I have read monster books. Obviously, I've done a few reviews on them and they're fine. They're just not my absolute favorite, favorite books to read. Um, it's the same with movies too. I like slashers. I like psychological and I like paranormal. I'm very into like ghosts, serial killers, or like, uh, you know, psychological things. Those are just the, my favorite. I find those to be the scariest and the most realistic, which is what I prefer in horror. I like it to be more realistic. I feel like if I can't see it really happening in real life, then I'm not scared by it, so. Question five is name an underrated horror novel or author. And this is easy for me because these are two of my favorite horror authors that I have found thus far in the community. And that is Keelan Patrick Burke. So these are some of my favorites by him, Ken, Sour Candy, and Jack and Jill. I love Keelan Patrick Burke. I think his ideas are super fresh and new and very different. And I haven't seen any of his stuff done before besides him and I think that's super unique and I like fresh in the horror community because it's kind of hard sometimes to find that and then another one would be Ania Alborn so Brother and The Devil Crept In are some of my favorites by her and um again she's just pretty underrated in my opinion I think she does really great plots I think they're pretty creepy which I enjoy because I like being creeped out and I just think she writes really well and I love her stories and I don't hear a lot about them which makes me really sad because they're such good authors. Number six is name an overrated horror novel or author. <laughs> I'm not gonna say authors because I think it's not fair to judge an author based off of one book I didn't like by them. So two books I found to be overrated were The Haunting of Hill House. I have a full review on this up on my channel too. I thought this was so incredibly boring. Um, I'm just not a slow burn kind of person and this took forever to get to where it was going. It's just not my kind of horror. I like very fast paced and this is just too slow and boring for my taste. I know it's like a classic, but I just, I just couldn't get into it. So I'm very, very, very sorry. <laughs> The other is also another favorite by people in the horror community and I'm really sorry. I did a video on it as well. I watched the movie. I didn't like either of them and that is The Ritual by Adam Neville. And I've heard other books by him are really good too and I'm willing to t give them a chance. Um, again with Shirley Jackson, I would give her books another chance too. It's just The Ritual was so boring and not scary at all to me and I hated I hated the way it ended. Both of them, honestly, didn't really like the way it ended. So. Both of those books are super uh, overrated in my opinion. I just don't see the hype. Question seven is recommend three of your favorite horror novels. Uh, would it be my channel if I didn't tell you to go read Pen, pa Pen Pal by Dathan Auerbach? Pen Pal is legitimately my favorite horror book I've ever read. I am obsessed with this book. It's so, so freaking good. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I basically rant and rave about how much I love this book in every horror video I ever do. So this is 100% my favorite. Brother by Ania Alborn is 100% one of my favorites. Honestly, any Ania Alborn or Keelan Patrick Burke, but I would probably give it to Kin by Keelan Patrick Burke. That one was, it's very gruesome. It's a very gruesome book. If you don't like gore and like cannibalism which is what brother by Ania Alborn this one these two are very cannibalistic so if you don't like that I would stay away uh that brother isn't as graphic but this one is a doozy so if you don't like that number eight is recommend a book for someone who is new to the horror genre so I have a few because I think it depends on what kind of book you're looking for. If you're looking for something to ease you in slowly into the horror genre, then I would suggest uh, My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This is more of a horror comedy. It's very like uh, funny, I guess. It's it's like a like an yeah, it's like a horror comedy. It's funny. It's 
still like scary it's still de this deals with possession so it has that element of horror but if you're kind of scared and you don't know what to expect I would pick this up because it's not as you know spooky scary like right off the bat it has some funny elements so it's not too scary or I would recommend the heart shaped box by Joe Hill um this one's actually really cute like that sounds weird for me to say that it's like scary and cute but there is like a level of cuteness to it with like romance I guess there is a romantic level and there's like a dog in it and it's a little more lighthearted than like really really scary but I definitely really did like this um I thought it was really good now if you just want to jump straight into horror and you're not looking for like any easiness or like you're just gonna punch right in there I would say Seed by Ania Alborn is really really good so Seed by Ania Alborn is really dark it deals with possession and it's a very dark book uh the ending is crazy so if you're looking to just jump right in this is a good alter like alternative to like the easy horror this is pretty like dark and like gets her right into the horror i also think a head full of ghosts by paul trembley is really really interesting again it deals with possession i like the paranormal and um this is a really 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 good possession book it's so good i again have um I think I have reviews on all of these books. I do. I have full reviews on all of these books. So if any of these strike your fancy, um, they should be in my um, book review playlist, which I will have linked down below. Number nine is, are there any book to film adaptions that you particularly loved or hated? Um, actually, these two book to film adaptions, I actually prefer the film to the book which I know is like unheard of, but these books just weren't that great in my opinion. And I prefer the movies. And that is Stephen King's Carrie. Carrie is actually my all time favorite Stephen King movie. And I just don't like this book. It's very boring. It's lame. I think you can get the exact same information from the movie than you can the book. So I definitely prefer the, I just hit the camera. I definitely prefer the movie to that. And also, Stephen King's It. Um, this thing took me nine months to read because it was so boring and I hated it. <laughs> but I love the new and old It. They're both really, really good. I am partial to the new one just because I thought it was really, really good. I know not everyone did, but I thought it was really good. So I do think the movie is much better than the book, in my opinion. Number 10 is how do you discover new or new to you horror books? This is really hard because I have a lot of trouble finding books most of the time, but usually I find it through bookstagram accounts. Um, I follow a lot of Instagram book accounts and they suggest books to me that I'm like, oh, that would sound good. Goodreads is another great thing for me. I can find books on there similar to other books I've read and it's just easy to keep track of them on there. Or I go to Powell's, which is a bookstore here that has like books for cheaper and it has a huge horror section. So I'll just scour that aisle for hours trying to find books that sound good or decent. I also Google a lot of things like scary books that no one's heard of or blah, blah, blah. You know, like I just Google and Google and Google until I find a couple that, you know, sound good to me so it's all just trial and error honestly it's really hard sometimes to find good horror books but you just gotta persevere you know you just gotta keep going number 11 is what was the last horror book that you bought and that is actually what i'm reviewing for you guys on friday and this is wounds by nathan ballingrad ballingrad uh it's actually a movie that i didn't know about so that's interesting I might watch the movie after read the book and I think this is actually uh I think it's a couple of short stories which will be interesting one two three four five six yeah it's six uh different stories I think yeah six stories from the border of hell yeah so six stories but yeah that'll be coming to you guys Friday if it sounds intriguing and then number 12 is what horror book is on your wish list at the moment and the first one is actually one I heard from Hey Little Thrifter. She mentioned it in her video and it sounds really good. And it's called The Cipher by Kath Koja. I think that's how you say the author's name. 
but she recommended that in her video and it sounded really, really, really good. So I added that to my Goodreads and I want to look for that ASAP. And the other is The Troop by Nick Cutter. I saw that on an Instagram account and someone said that it was really, really, really good and really scary, which is right up my alley. So the last question, number 13, is tag other people and tag whoever you want. So I tag anybody who likes horror or likes horror books or whatever. Even if you just want to do the tag, it'd be fun. You can answer any of the questions in the comments down below if you want to give me some recommendations. You guys know I'm always looking for recommendations because I'm always looking to read new horror books. It's literally everything I do. I am just searching for new horror books constantly. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tag. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, a lot of these books I've already talked about in my previous book reviews. I've talked about them in my favorite horror books uh, video. Um, I mean, I talk about these books constantly. It's no surprise, but I thought it was a fun little tag um, just for you guys to get to know me and my horror love a little bit more. And yeah, um, if you guys like these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to do another tag, um, makeup or book related. doesn't really matter. And yeah, if you guys have any thoughts, leave them in the comments down below. I hope you like and subscribe and I hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye!